This is episode 51 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I am your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over idiocy. Now, I get a lot of questions about health in general, mostly about losing weight and trying to lose weight, getting six packs, getting, you know, showing muscles, getting, you know, cut up, that kind of stuff. And it made me realize that, I mean, one... I already knew that sugar sugar is generally the problem. If you're fatter than you want to be, you eat too much sugar. But there's a lot of things that people put out there, the companies put out there that make people think that they're eating something healthy when really they aren't. Because like this title is called, sugar is is a ninja. It's like Bruce Lee. Sugar is Bruce, Sarah Lee, or Sarah Bruce Lee, whatever, you know. It's like the bad guy in Karate Kid. It's, it's show enough. Sugar is, is the most ninja of ninjas. You don't, see, you don't see it. You don't smell it. It just sneaks up on you, gets into whatever you're, you're eating. Before you know it, you're fat and you don't know how you got there. It's because sugar's a ninja. Ninja. So how, how is it a ninja? Well, it, it hides in plain sight. You never see a ninja coming. It just creeps up on you. Before you know it, you're done. The good thing is I am highly trained in the Sugar Ninja Assassins. And I'm going to help you guys find where you're getting the sugar most likely without really even knowing it. And we're going to take it out before it can even get to us. I'm like the Chris Kyle of Sugar Assassins. All right. I got a lot of kills under my belt. You know what I'm saying? Of course you do. So here are the, the biggest places that you are getting sugar, probably without even knowing it. Now, I'm going to leave out pasta, breads, rice, stuff like that. If you don't know that all those carbohydrates break down into sugar, then you're just a sitting duck for the, for the sugar ninja. It doesn't even need to sneak up on you. You're not paying attention at all. It, it's going to get you in the middle of the day. So Breads, rices, pastas, seriously, you should know that by now. Lots of sugar. Because carbs break down into sugar, in case you didn't know that. Which, if you're eating that and not knowing that, you probably didn't know that. But you know where you're at. So here are the places that are making you fat without you even knowing it. Get ready. Get a pen and pencil. We're going to write this down. This is a big one. Number one is cereal. Number two is yogurt. Number three, granola, granola bars, snack bars, stuff like that. It's all kind of putting it all in the same category. Number four, juice. Number five, dried fruit. And number six, which will sound confusing, but you got to trust me on this, artificial sweeteners. All those things that you put into your coffee, that you have in your yogurt, that you have in your whatever it is that you're eating that removes the sugar says it removes the sugar and then has this in its place, that stuff is horrible for you. Well, isn't fake sugar not really sugar? Yeah, technically, yes. But as I'll explain later, you, you'll understand where I'm coming from on this. It's actually, it could actually be worse for you than sugar, which, please listen to this, is not an excuse for you to go eat sugar, okay? I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make excuses. Oh, well, it's so bad for you. I'm just going to eat real sugar. I'm going to keep it real. Don't keep it real. Sugar, bad. Sugar equals fat, period. Remember that sugar equals fat. So what we're doing is we're going to eliminate the sugar, not going to use artificial sweeteners, and we're not going to use sugar because the artificial sweeteners are bad. Cut all that crap out. We're being healthy, all right? Get ready. Like I said, if you're fat, you eat too much sugar, period. I mean, you maybe you don't work out enough. Maybe you work out a lot, whatever. You can't outwork a diet. And if you're fat, you probably have, you're eating too much sugar. One thing that our bodies do, which is amazing, that a lot of us keep from doing, 
I don't know if you've seen the obese rates in America. Pretty high. But our bodies are designed to burn fat. Doing nothing. Just burning fat. But if there's sugar in our system, we burn the sugar until the sugar runs out. Then we burn the fat. What do we do? We put so much sugar in our system, we never get to the fat burning. So we're taking something that our body does naturally and just mother effing it. I almost said a bad word. We're hijacking it. The same way the same way sugar is hijacking our food, we're hijacking our bodies. We're doing the same we're doing the same thing. We're just as bad. Each gram of sugar is about 4 calories. So let's say here's your breakfast. I'm going to eat a healthy granola bar and I'm going to have some healthy fruit juice. Well, you probably have say like 50 grams of sugar in your system, maybe more. Each gram of sugar is about four calories. So if you eat that granola bar, that healthy granola bar and that juice and then go to work, what do you do at work? Unless you're a personal trainer, you're probably doing a lot of sitting around, sitting at your desk. How many calories do you think you're burning then? Mm, very low. How much fat do you think you're burning then? Uh, not at all. So you got to come up with some alternatives. The morning time is probably the worst time to have sugar. And again, don't use it as an excuse to say, hey, this dude said you could eat sugar in the afternoon. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is sugar's bad all the time, but it's really bad in the morning, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Because essentially, unless you're one of those people that eats right before you go to bed, which is a total no-no anyways, you should like three to four hours before you go to bed, you should stop eating. But by the, usually by the time you wake up, you're either in a fat burning mode, depending on what crap you ate the night before, you're either in fat burning mode or you're really close to it. So when you have that cup of coffee and you just put a little bit of sugar in it, you put a little bit of sweetener, you put a little bit of honey, you have a little pastry, you just have a piece of toast, you have a little jelly. I mean, whatever those little, that that little bit you think you're putting on shuts down your, your fat burning production. So you were right at the cusp of burning fat and getting healthier because the fatter you are, the unhealthier you are. This is not a fat shaming thing, but the more weight you have on your body than your body needs, the worse it is for your joints, for your organs, for your overall health, everything. So just keep that in mind, please. This is about being healthy. This isn't about being skinny, healthy. So right when you're at the point of burning fat and getting healthier, you shut it down. And you probably put enough in your system that you're shutting it down until maybe dinner time. But then you eat something at lunch that shuts it down till eh, the next day. So just keep that in mind. When you wake up, you're almost ready to start burning fat. So you have to have some healthy alternatives. If you like yogurt, yogurt's a fantastic source of protein. Get some plain Greek yogurt. And if you're going to need something a little sweet, I suggest putting a few blueberries. High in antioxidants, good vitamins, very low in sugar. That is the healthier way to go if you like yogurt. Don't do the granola bars. Um... If you're on the go and you need to like get out of the house, I suggest hard-boiled eggs. You can cook all of them, however many you want per day, two, three, one per day. Cook them all on Sunday so they're all ready to go. So you just get up and grab them and you're out the door. Now, whoever you eat them around is not going to appreciate your breakfast very much, but screw them. You know, you're being healthy. They can smell some eggs. It's better than it being something else that smells like eggs. You know what I'm saying? No juice in the morning. I know it goes, oh, hey, look, I have all this healthy juice. For just no juice. Unless you go to like a juice bar or a smoothie bar where you're watching them just take the vegetables and just blend them into like a green smoothie, don't do it because there's going to be a crap load of sugar in it. Um, I do huge smoothies after a workout, tons of vegetables, all kinds of good stuff for your for your system and cleaning out your system and all that stuff every day. If you want the recipe for that, it's a ton of vegetables, but you mix it all up and you get it all done at one time. It's a ton of vegetables. If you want it, uh, either DM me, Snapchat, Twitter, or put it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to, to shoot you my recipe for my green smoothie, no sugar, super healthy, cleans you out especially the first time, first time you have it, your system's going to be like, ooh, flush, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so if you want that, let me know. Focus on like grass-fed meats. Focus on like healthier fats, lots of veggies. Um, for like lunch, you got to avoid the sandwiches because of the bread and everything. Have a salad 
Watch the dressing. There's lots of sugar in dressing. The best salad dressing you can get is just olive oil, salt, and pepper. Olive oil is healthy. And then when you have that salad, you put all the vegetables and stuff you want on there. Maybe add some lentils, some walnuts, you know, good stuff like that. Make it, you can make a pretty big, you can get pretty full if you make your salad big enough. So don't worry about, oh, I'm going to be hungry. Make a big ass salad. You'll be better. You'll be full and you'll be better for it. So now I hope we're clear on, on the sugars. Okay. Remember cereal, yogurt, granola bars, really any kind of bar, juice, dried fruit. And now the ninja of all freaking ninjas, the Mr. Miyagi of ninjas. Artificial sweeteners. Uh, how can I put this so you guys? I don't see. I don't want to leave any room for interpretation. Okay. Um, artificial sweeteners will <laughs> you up. Is that plain enough for you guys? I hope so. Artificial sweeteners are horrible on kind of three major levels. Fake sugar basically tricks your body into thinking that it's getting sugar. So your body reacts as if you actually put sugar into your system. Okay? So what does that do? It, 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 your tongue tastes the sweet, flips on your dopamine, flips on your leptin. Your stomach's sitting there going, okay, calories are coming. Everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. We're spiking the insulin. We're doing all these things. We're getting ready. We're getting ready. And then the calories never get there. So what does it do? If the calories don't get there. Your leptin's going, uh, hey guys, uh, I, I never got anything, so I'm just going to stay open and keep working until we actually get it. So what does that do? That then gives your, sends signal to your brain that you are not getting what you, what it thought you were getting, it gives you cravings for carbs. So you drinking that diet soda is actually making your cravings worse. You putting that crap in your coffee in the morning is actually making your cravings worse. So you, during the day when you're busy and you're getting tired and all this stuff, your brain's going, hey, hello, you know, like uh, back to the future. Hello, McFly, McFly, where's the sugar? And you have to fight that on top of the fact that you're already trying to lose weight. It's not helping. Like I said, it spikes your insulin also. And the, I think the best way to think about insulin and what it does to your system and does to your food is, remember when you were a kid and you had to clean your room? Like for me, I had to clean it like on Saturday morning. Did you really clean it? Not really. What you would do is you would take all your crap that's on the floor and you would throw it into the closet. Hey, mom, dad, room's clean. I'm good. I can go play now. That's what insulin does to your system. It basically takes everything in your system and just goes, ah, ah, f it. Let's just store it. So it throws all into your system, ready for storage. Where does it store? In your fat cells, in your muscles, all the places you don't want all that that stuff to go. All right. And it gets worse. So you have stuff in your stomach, in your gut, your upper intestines. Your lower, you, it's called gut flora. Basically, gut flora is the good bacteria that your body has in your system to break down the foods, get it going to where it needs to go, send in all the right signals to the brain. Hey, we got this. We got that. Send this there. Send this there. What fake sugar does is it actually breaks that down. So your good gut flora Every time you have it, it gets worse and worse and worse. So what does that do? That means you're not breaking down your food correctly. That means you're sending out waste that shouldn't be waste. You're holding on to stuff you shouldn't hold on to. One thing that people don't know is that your intestines are, are one of the main places that release dopamine into your system. So if you're messing up your gut flora and you're messing up the signals and everything and the way your digestive system works, you're actually not going to get the dopamine release into your system that you want. And dopamine is the happiness hormone. So you're not going to be as happy. So you eat bad. You eat this, this, this crap that breaks down your gut flora. You're going to gain weight. You're going to be depressed. And then because you're depressed and you're gaining weight, you're going to be more depressed. And a lot of people eat or a lot of people starve themselves, and it's just, it's mentally, it puts you in a horrible place mentally. This is all what fake sugar does to your system, okay? Sugar and fake sugar to your system is not good. Sugar, I know people are already saying it, but I promise you, sugar is going to be the new smoking. Sugar is, for those of you that aren't, haven't heard that already, sugar is going to be the new smoking. It's going to be the thing that in 10 years, 
our obesity levels are going to just go through the roof even more than they already are. People are going to be so unhealthy. Diabetes is going to be rampant. And people are going to go, oh my God, look at the sugar. Because there's sugar in so much stuff and people don't pay attention to it. And the people that do pay attention to it maybe don't pay attention to it in the right way, which is why I'm doing this, which is why I'm telling you guys that sugar is a ninja. Got to look out for it everywhere. So if you guys have any questions about this, DM me, hit me up in the comments below. I'm happy to go through whatever you guys want suggestions on more stuff. I didn't want to make this like too big. Suggestions on stuff, food stuff. You guys just have questions about what you're eating. Snapchat's been fantastic for this. People can just hit me up. Hey, dude, what do you think about this, this, and this? And I can tell you right away. This is a big deal. This is, to me, your health is like the center of your level of success. That if your body's right and your mind's right and your mind and body work together, if everything's working correctly, that's kind of the beginning of your ability to be successful and to be happy and to clear out all the stuff. So this is a really, for me, this is a really big deal. I think health is number one because once you're healthy, it's like the oxygen mask in the plane. You got to put on this before you can do this. If you're not healthy, if you're not eating right, working out, sleeping well, everything else is, you're kind of working at a, a, a lower capacity and we want to be the best we can be every single day. It feels good. It allows for more success and success feels good and it just works its way up, but it starts right here with our health. Okay. I hope you guys have, are having a fantastic week. Football season is in full swing. Baseball season is closing to an end. That's actually why I wore the hat. Uh, I'm feeling my season slipping away. I know it's a it's it's an even year, and this should be a World Series year for us Giants people, but uh, we're having some pretty tough losses, and it and it hurts. So, if you guys are interested in doing any sports stuff, I would. I'm a Niners guy. I would love if you guys want to come on and we can do like a split podcast on football, on sports, on anything. So if you're interested in that, please hit me up. I got the Skype. You get the Skype. It's free. We can do it. You can use it on your phone, your iPad, your computer, whatever. I'll take care of the rest. We can do a dual podcast about sports. If you have a story you want to share or if you know if somebody has a story that they want to share or they should share, please hit me up. This is all about making everything better for everybody. The better the individuals are, the better we are all are as a group. So think about it. Hit me up. I know you guys are shy, but that doesn't mean you guys don't have fantastic stories to tell. Have a great week, and I will see you guys soon. And she was like, huh? and he was like, nah. and we was like, what? Go, go, go.